Aquarius, what's good guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to Mama Faya Tarot. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, if you are just tuning in, please consider hitting that subscribe button uh, if I vibe with you as a reader. All right, this is gonna be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Uh, you can find information for personal readings in the description box below, along with a discount code for um, the Green Witch Home and a bunch of other information. So definitely check out, you know, you hit that little arrow in the corner, okay? And that gives you all the info on how to reach out to me, how to book with me through Zoom or video, uh, and all the good stuff. So please check that out. All right, here we go. Aquarius, let's just get right into it. Dear Father God, Mother Earth, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering the sacred space, so mo it be. All right, I'm gonna be using the crystal deck along with the, the usual suspects and, um, and grab a crystal from the crystal box. Ooh, okay, I gotta take them. All right, embrace the energy of peace, Aquarius. Try and let go of any past hurts, I uh, know that the past things happened in the past, um, you know, to teach you and it's time really to let go of a lot of things. Ooh. All right. Make plans and focus. Focus on what you do want, not what you don't want. Okay. And really focus on, I'm getting real career goals again, just like Libra, which is interesting. Um, and trust your talents. This is a card I get for myself all the time. Know that, like, you know, your intuition is very, very strong. Uh, your um, intuitive gifts or your creative gifts or both are extremely strong. So please, you know, take note of any kind of, like, messages you get from the universe. Know that, like, even though things are in flux, that you can trust those intuitive gifts that you get. Um, I don't know. Did I mention that this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, Venus, all that? I don't know. And Jupiter. All right. So, um, whoa. So we got the broken arrow and the arrow. So this person definitely has to, your person has to protect themselves more. Uh, they may be around some real negative energy that is um, affecting them in a big, big way. Ooh. Whoever this person is to you, Aquarius, they were definitely brought in to teach you something, to teach you a lesson. Um, they also may be the type of person who um, learns from spiritual experiences or that a lot of people go to for advice and things like that. Uh, this person tends to counsel others, maybe a traditional teacher as well, someone who, you know, teaches in a school. Ooh, the wise one, yeah, definitely could be a teacher, like a traditional teacher. Um, I'm picturing little kids for some reason, so um, which they may be really stressed out, which why they have to protect themselves right now. That would be interesting, um, for sure, Aquarius. All right, but they're very, very smart, very smart, and they can absolutely. They have to stick with it, whatever it is that they're doing, or they need to stick with you. That was the first time my throat's ever gotten itchy like that. All right, protect. Protection guardian, drop your shields. Okay. This person needs to protect themselves from other people more. However, I think they do need to learn how to, you know, let you in a little bit. Both of you know need to learn how to let each other in a little bit more, I think. All right, let's see. Because with, with it being at the bottom of the deck there, that applies to overall energy for both of you. All right, let me give these a good old shuffle because Amber has been coming out so much. It's the King of Pentacles in this deck. Sorry for the noise. I hope that didn't like blast your ears, guys. Um, <clears throat> all right, I think I need to do some throat chakra work because I'm having some troubles with my throat. All right, let's see what's going on here for Aquarius. What, ooh, Snowflake Obsidian. Okay, I have um, pieces of this in every windowsill not every windowsill, but at least one windowsill of every room in my house. Um, it's highly, highly protective. It keeps the negative away. And it's funny that in this deck, the snowflake obsidian is the devil. And 
there is a lot of like needing to it's interesting you need protection crystal snowflake obsidian is wonderful um i did get a lot of snowflake obsidian from the green witch so definitely snag a piece of that again i use it in my own home um there's one in each there's one in my room my daughter's over here and like north south east and west of each room so to ward off the evils and yeah, you definitely got that for a reason. Um, Knight of Coins, Platinum. Woo! All right. Yeah, just go out and buy some Platinum, you know, because it's so cheap. <laughs> if you own any Platinum, though, um, I'm, I'm lucky enough to. It's, you know, it, you def definitely um, want to use it right now. Uh, put it on because I do think that that platinum is highly protective as well. It's super strong. It's one of the strongest you can get. And watermelon tourmaline, wow, all of these are highly protective crystals. Um, I have a Chris, I have a bracelet with a little piece of watermelon tourmaline in it. It's very cute. And a couple small chips. It's like a chip bracelet. Um, this might be a little harder to find. Snowflake Obsidian is easy to find. Platinum. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's even worse than like Sapphire or Ruby. Um, this deck kills me a little bit. But anyway, uh, for my everyday peoples, Snowflake Obsidian, easy to find and cheap. And Watermelon Tourmaline might be a little harder to find. You may want to get green and pink crystals. Um, I'm getting fluorite. And I'm getting rose quartz. A mix of those two might be really good for you. Um, but if you can find watermelon, oh, watermelon, <laughs> watermelon tourmaline, um, go for it. Ooh, lepidolite. This is one of my favorites. Very, very abundant. Easy to find. Not super expensive. Not super cheap. Not the cheapest, like howlite or even snowflake obsidian. But definitely. Um, abundant enough and cheap enough to find um and it's ve it's wonderful for mental health so your person definitely could use some mental health help it looks like and that's no tea no shade like i said i have a million pieces i have a piece right here pretty sure. oh no it's it's sitting on the selenite because i just used it so you know labradorite wonderful I have um, Labradorite on right now. It helps transmute negative energy, which is definitely something this person needs to do more of simply because um, they are around a lot of negative energy right now. They, they King of Cups, they definitely have unconditional love for you. Um, I think the Lepidolite is for confusion, which is why it's on the Seven of Coins here. Um, Sorry, Seven of Coins is not. I was thinking Seven of Cups for some reason. Seven of Coins is waiting. They may be waiting to go back to work if they're a teacher. Nine of Swords, Fluorite. All right, so they definitely have to work on their confidence. Fluorite's very, very abundant, easy to find. Same with Labradorite. Labradorite's a little more expensive. Fluorite is, is pretty cheap. Uh, you could definitely find find it easy in silver wow funny that you got platinum and they got silver um as you guys know silver is much easier to find and, and fairly fairly um cheap depending on the grade of silver I, I can't even wear all silvers there's certain silvers i can wear and certain i can so be careful seven of swords with the nine of swords two sevens here this person definitely needs to work on their confidence and their honesty and transmute any kind of negative energy. We'll see. Um, I didn't intend to read the tarot of these cards just to look at the crystals, but I have to pay attention to some of these. Ooh, carnelian. So you guys might both need a little boost of energy here. Let's see. Let's see what else is going on. Your person got a lot of crystals. Whoa, ho, ho. All right. High Priestess with the um, wheel. These two have been coming out a lot. Pay attention to your um, psychic gifts, your intuition. Know that, you know, if you do right by other people, other people will do right by you. 
Karma is definitely watching your Aquarius, so be um, as good to yourself and others as you can. Watch any impulsivity with this Knight of Swords here. Um, you know, you don't want to be, I think you want to come go rushing into this person, but with this High Priestess, there is something stopping you. Um, so trying, I am getting slow down a little. Go a little slower. Yeah, wow. Okay, there's a lot of cards here, but I'm going to take them out. Whoa. All right. I think this person may have done some real fuck shit and hurt you pretty bad. But it caused some real changes in you. And I do think that whatever you've... Um, Whatever you've seen online or whatever you've seen has made you really walk away from this person, but you're going to bring in more abundance here. I want to focus on these two cards more than anything. They're really drawing my attention. Embrace the change. You may have some Scorpio in your chart because that's what's going to bring in new abundance. Try... Try to watch any third parties, watch any kind of self-serving behavior where the kind of self-serving behavior that hurts others. And if this was done to you by this person, if their, their behavior was very self-serving and it hurt you, which very well could be the case, walk away. Walk away from it, Aquarius, okay? Um, I think you already have, though, and I think you know that. Um, Aquarius, you know that you have brighter days ahead here, I can tell. That reminds me of, like, the Libra reading a little bit. Ooh, this person missed an opportunity with you, Aquarius. Yeah, they missed an opportunity at real happiness with you, Aquarius. Um, wow. And now they see you and the whole thing from a different perspective, they may even be able to see the changes. They do feel stuck, though. Ooh, the devil. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. Um, ooh, Aquarius. Yeah, and they may... Okay, so... This person thought the grass was going to be greener elsewhere. And now I think they're starting to realize... Oh, you taught them a lesson, Aquarius, that they gave in to confusion, other options, things like that. And now they're starting to see that an addiction may have led to some of this too. Um, oh, starting over energy, page of pentacles. Um you both may be thinking about talking to one another here, but I don't know. I don't know, Aquarius. This person is, um, the devil's here twice already. The devil is here. Um, I think this person is starting to see the light, though. King of Cups, yeah. You definitely have a lot of unconditional love for this person. Um, very, very caring, but you can't tell them. And I don't think you should. You can still love someone from afar, Aquarius. Ooh, the devil is here three times now. Damn. There may be a bit of obsession with each other. Um, Ace of Pentacles again. I think you just want commitment from this person really bad because you love them unconditionally, Aquarius. But the moon it just ends up anytime you think about it it just reminds you it just depresses you oh what is going on this week what is going on all right but try and move past that aquarius let go like shake it off smudge the house do what you gotta do to transmute the negative i you might want to get some labradorite too heal yeah there it is baby aquarius you're kind Heal this shit, okay? Because this is not working for you. I'm getting that Aquarius is having a good amount of negative self-talk. Please don't down on yourself right now, Aquarius. Now is not the time for that. The devil's very busy around you. And I think he's trying to convince you that 
you're not worthy of love and commitment and happiness. And that is simply not true. Ten of Pentacles again for this person. You might be dealing with an earth sign. But this person, Queen of Pentacles. This could have been someone you lived with or someone you were married to, for sure. Or someone you thought about having that kind of life with. Oh, strength with the Two of Cups. Two of Pentacles and the Emperor. It could be an Aries or a Leo. Um, this person doesn't know how to express their love to you, but they absolutely see you as either wife or husband material. There's no doubt. As, you know, life partner material here. And they know they messed up in the past really badly. They're going to have to take charge and come in and talk to you. I just, it's, this is a tough situation though. There's a lot of healing that has to happen here before any of that could happen. Um, there is some soulmate energy here though. But I want you just to heal yourself. I don't even really want you focusing on this person coming back. I want Aquarius just to focus on themselves right now and heal yourself. Um... I think a Reiki treatment or something like that would be really good for you. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I could. This could have been a long term relationship that went sour, or this could be something that's coming back together after a really hard time. But again, the devil is all over this, so it could be a karmic as well. Just please watch, watch it. You know, um, watch any obsession, obsessive behavior, watch any sort of like addictive like behavior when it comes to this person. If that person brings this out in you, watch it, you know, um, definitely some strong divine masculine energy here, though. Someone who had to learn some tough lessons about, you know, I don't know. Not missing on opportunities with people who are pretty amazing. Comfort. Wow. Yeah, find the love of your family right now and at home. Make your home your sanctuary right now. Ace, yeah, because you have a new type of love coming in. Oh, grief. But it could lead to a lot, lot of grief as well. Oh, what is that? perfection this is my twin flame card um you could be dealing with a twin flame here who has caused you a whole mess of pain and i can't send my aquarius back to that it's an odd combination of cards um that grief is throwing me off big time so and it's this, like, it just, geez. Please watch any sort of substance abuse, okay? Because that is, it's, and any escapism, all right? And if, you know, you need help, reach out to me, mamafiotero at gmail.com. I can find you help, okay? Or get online. Um, oh, this is my neglectful empress, so this is my empress that isn't paying attention to her baby. Yeah, you know what? I think this person um, neglected you, Aquarius, and or abandoned you. And you had to learn how to deal with that abandonment on your own, you know? Yeah, but now they're crazy about you. Now they just really think about you all the time. Now they feel like the Queen of Cups to your King of Cups, you know? And they may have some making up to do, though. Yeah, I do believe your person has changed in a lot of ways. But there's some things they're still juggling here. But they... Mm, they may come to you with a, like, let's be friends or let's take it slow let's explore this you definitely take it slow if you let this person back in at all okay aquarius be very discerning 
all right? Because it's very hard for me to give general advice to so many different people and just tell you all, let this person back in when I'm seeing this fucking card here and the, three, the other three of swords as well. Um, hold back as much as you can or both of you are holding back. Really make sure that this person has changed, okay? Before you fully let them in. Aquarius. Hoo, 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 heavy. I don't know, man. You may not want to let this person back in. I just, it's up to you. You do keep looking back, Aquarius. So, I mean, there's got to be a reason why you're looking back like that. And, but just make sure it's not some kind of weird addiction, to, you know, or like something like that. Um, make sure it's not like some kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Trauma bond, you know? Because I'm getting that this might be some kind of trauma bond. Ooh, be brave enough to really assess the situation, all right? Because I don't know. I don't know. Soulmates come in all forms, and a lot of them are just really good teachers who were brought here to, you know, teach you something but not stay. So be careful, Aquarius abandoned yeah this person totally abandoned you totally abandoned you aquarius and oh i just got left for dead damn what this person do aquarius let me know but they still want to talk now wow what is this <sighs> there has been so much karmic energy in the air lately um, indecision, yeah. Even your tower reader ain't sure. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if you want to let this person in. Because they really did hurt you. It's going to be up to each individual Aquarius here. I can't make this decision for you. You both are indecisive. That's a no, usually. If you don't know, it's a no. All right, here we go. What crystals do my Aquarii mean most right now? Oh, adventuring. All right, green adventuring. That's a more heart chakra uh, healing. Green has been coming out a lot. I think I have a lot of green crystals too, though. Uh, heart chakra, money manifestation. Um, definitely do some heart chakra work um, and focus on you and only you. Okay, whether this person comes back or not, they, you know, it's up to them. If you want to let them in, back in, it's up to you, but I would meditate on it first. Okay, all right, let's see, what else? Ooh, how light. All right, this came out for Saggy. Yeah, your person um, may have some, like, anger issues or some rage issues even, may, but how light is an incredibly soothing stone. I love this crystal. I'm wearing it right now. Um, I love, I just, it's just such a good one for fire signs. So you may be dealing with the fire sign. Um, I do see Aries and, and Leo real strong on this side. Um, but yeah, your person definitely needs to cool down before they come, come into you though. They better not come at you any kind of sideways because... Um, Aquarius, you ain't having it. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this crystal reading. Good luck with this. Um, I would be honored to give you a personal about this one because that's what I think it's going to require. Um, a general reading on YouTube isn't going to answer whether or not you should let someone who hurt you this bad back into your life or not. It's very, very personal. All right, Aquarius, I love you. Just know that you learned a lot, okay?